In today's video, we will talk about wireless LAN controller. While the demand for Wi-Fi access is increasing more and more, wireless access points are used in the network to ensure signal coverage in campuses, schools, or organization buildings, which makes the network operations and maintenance difficult for administrators. Wireless access controllers come into being to settle this bottleneck by running and administrating this multiple wireless access points. The wireless access point has lost the intelligent characteristic while the wireless access controller turns into the new brain for wireless LAN. In the case of the wireless LAN network, you can use the wireless LAN controller whose purpose is to centralize the control of access points. So that you can understand this better, let's put in this way, what a wireless access point does for your network is similar to what an amplifier does for your home stereo. It takes the bandwidth coming from a router devices and extends it so that the multiple other devices can connect from farther distance away. So what is a wireless LAN controller? A wireless LAN controller is a centralized device in the network which is used in combination with the lightweight access point protocol to manage lightweight access point in large quantities by the network administrator or network operations center also called access point this access point on the network are managed operated and configured independently the wireless LAN controller automatically handles the configuration of wireless access points. Because of its centralized position and brain power, the wireless LAN controller is aware of the wireless LAN environment. It provides services that can lower the price of deployment, ease the management process, and provide several layers of security. The wireless LAN controller access point setup is commonly utilized in the company environment to stretch an individual wireless network in a vast geographical region. This setup let users stroll the office premises, campus, or building and still be connected to the network. While deploying enterprise wireless LANs, every single wireless access point is initially created and managed separately from other access points on the same network. In other words, each access point must run individually which makes centralized management difficult to realize. Unfortunately, technical problems and unstable network condition can be caused by lack of communication between these access points. Wireless LAN controllers are meant to solve the mentioned problem above once for all. Accompanied by fit mode access points, wireless LAN controllers can help to realize efficient and simplified network management. So, What are the functions of wireless LAN controller? As we said before, the major function of a wireless LAN controller is to maintain the configuration of wireless access points, but it carried out multiple other functionalities. Number one is traffic aggregation. It is important to know that this function is not all the time performed inside the WLCs. For this, it will depend on the network architecture used. When all traffic from wireless device is routed via the controller, you can use it to encode it or divide it so that it sends to different network or to be filtered to prioritize it according to the established quality policies. Second function is management and operation function. These two functions together enable you to utilize and manage the wireless local network in much simpler manner. This way you don't have to repeat the same operation in every one of the access points within the local network anymore. This task allows you to configure, observe and identify problems in the network and they also permit you to send and receive notification when problems are noticed. So what are the benefits of wireless LAN controller? The very first benefit is it is secured. With all the daily news about hacking and data breaches, security is an essential factor to have in the mind of any organization. Wireless and controller fight against all kinds of threats to your organization based on user ID and location. The second benefit is centralized management. Yes, it is centralized. A centralized wireless controller provides malleability for deployment, which will lower the budget planning instruments and time spent organizing a wireless network in the business. 
simple administration. It is simple having a wireless LAN controller will help you to administer and supervise your access point in the centralized hub. A wireless LAN controller gives the network administrator the ability to see all the data and information linked to the network. They are able to observe on the device the hardware status, the situation of the physical ports and a summary of the access points connected anytime they want. So friends that was all about the wireless controller. In the next video we will configure the wireless LAN controllers, wireless access points and we will manage those wireless access points through a wireless LAN controller. So if you like my video please subscribe to my YouTube channel and do share, and do share with your friends. Thanks and see you in the next video.